Right, morning YouTubers, it's Friday. Uh, I haven't got a clue what the date is, I've forgotten. But uh, we're back on the army camp, as you can see. This is where all the nist nuts used to be. But, uh, some nice trees and that here. And I'm at my first target. I think over there somewhere is Mark. And around the corner a bit is Phil. He's using AT Pro. He's using the White's Coin Master. And I'm using my Quattro. And my first target turns out to be boot polish. Well, <laughs> sort of thing you'd expect to find uh, on an army camp, isn't it? Anyway, off to my next one. Right, second target come out of that hole. Look at that. Another Royal Artillery Cut Badge. This is a bigger one than the last one that I had. And this one's still got the bar on the back. It's a much bigger. Mind you, it's damaged. I've had to straighten it out. It's quite bent. But, uh, nice one. Woohoo! Second target, and I've only been here 10 minutes. I like it. Right, let's see if we can find some more. Third target. A real weird one. This one's all over the place. I don't know if you can see. It's just down there. Look, can you see it sticking up? It looks like a half penny. It's not. It's another weird one. What's that got on it? it looks like a pig. Oh, what the devil that is. Oh, it's Irish. It's got the Irish harp on it. Now let's give it a rub so we can get a date off it. Oh, he's throwing it away. <laughs> Right. Well, it's British, <laughs> Irish, and uh, Jersey coins I've had on here now. You get a date off that? 1943. No, it's a war one. I don't know if that is a pig on there or not, or a rhino, I don't know, something like that. We'll have a look when we clean it up at home. Right, off to the next one then. Oh, just had a George 6 out of there. I can't get the date off it that well. It's quite crusty. It's 1930 something or other. That's George 6 Big Penny. Woohoo! I think Mark and uh, Phil have both had Victoria coins. So, doing well so far. Oh, just come out of that hole. Now the tin lead. I don't know what that is. It's got a stag on there. I can't see what the rest of it is. I have to wait until I get home and clean it up. It's probably from the Second World War, but uh, I've got a clue. Anybody knows what that is? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I just heard Phil shout out he's got a threepenny bit and a ship half penny. Uh, he's doing all right. I'll do a signal in that hole. I don't know what I've got there. Uh, a weird looking thing that is. It looks as though it had a wire each end, so I wonder if that's some sort of big resistor or capacitor or something like that off one of the generators. Yeah, it had a wire on either end. I think that's what that probably is. All paper. And looks like it's covered in some sort of black stuff. Oh well, I do find some strange things in here. I know we'll give it a wash when we get home. I'll say, I think it is some sort of capacitor of some sort or resistor. Oh well, put it in the bag. On to the next one. Oh, Phil's just found a 1946 sixpence in really nice condition. Right, coin in the hole down there, you can see that. What out? You know, looks like it could be a, a big penny. Yeah. Who is it? What? Oh, I'll have one of the trousers. Looks like. Oh, it's George V. Let's see if we can get a date off it. a nice patina on it anyway. See if we can get a date off it. Uh, no, give it a lick. 1920. 1920 George VI. That'll clean up nicely. Woohoo! Nice one. Let's just check the old make sure there's nothing else down there. Right, put that one away. Well, that was a weird one. I had an iron signal right down deep, and I had a. You know, piece of a link out of a chain with the look of it. I'm just putting the muck back in the hole and I just found that. 
laying on top. Looks like uh, it's made of copper. Oh, what the devil that was. Oh, well, it's scrap that can go in the box. Oh, isn't it? This signal was weird, it jumped all over the place, going from minus 1, 15, 16, 20, back to minus 1. And there's something in the old ear down here somewhere. There we are, look, it looks like a coin. <laughs> oh, we got a key. Hello. We got a door key. Mark reckons it's the first time of madness talking to me. I'm not talking to me. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to the YouTubers. I'm talking to YouTubers. He reckons I'm talking to myself. <laughs> he says he can't hear me. Right, on to the next one. Well, that was hard work. You can see all that rust down there. Found all shoe. Right, uh, we're not that big, but it's only like sort of hand size one. Mark found one twice that size last week with Maria. Oh well, that's got to be an old one. Right, moving on. Uh, that old really fee signal is jumping from minus one up to 36. Turns out, look, it's a piece of leather with a copper piece on it and a steel nail through it or steel pin through it and there's still a bit of leather on there look now what the devil that was looks like someone's chopped it off or broke it off oh well put that in the bag there's some big bits of window glass in there as well look how thick that is yes uh, be very careful poking your hands in these holes that is thick glass and all oh well put it back moving on Right, I've got a lovely sixpence there. I don't know if that's going to show up on my camera. Nice one, mate. Right, right. looks like we've got a bit of a webbing belt. It's still got the webbing in it, look. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to go and walk back to the van now. You won't believe it. my pinpoint has gone flat. Because I haven't got anything to charge it up. So fortunately I've got a spare one in the van. So I'll go back to the van and get one. Right, off to the van. Like we got a bit. Of, looks like there's another coin under it. There's a threatening bit there. Look, you know what's under it. Oh, looks like we got a sixpence. Yep, George the six. Sixpence. Oh, me first. 1945. Silver. Woohoo! Cool. That's in good condition and all. Oh, look at that. Oh, lovely. What's the threatening bit? Let's just put that sixpence away. So look, what's the threatening bit? I expect that's been manky as hell. Give it a rub on the trousers. I don't know what that is. And it looks like George is thick as well. I think you get a date off it. Have a look. No, it's almost worn off. 90, oh, 1937. Just make that out. So, 1936 and 1937. Woohoo! Alright, I'll just check, make sure nothing else in that hole. And who's the next? Some sixpence are in the hole just behind me, and I think I've got another, it looks like another couple of coins down here. Ease them out slowly. What have we got? Yeah, looks like we've got a half penny and a penny. Let's make sure there's nothing else in there. Let's get the pinpointer in and have a look. It's just working just about. That, that looks like that was it. Just those there. Alright, let's see what we got. What's that one? Looks like a yeah, it's ship half penny. What's the date on that? Can we see a date? Oh, oh, relic. 19 something or other, 1942 I think that is, what's that one, oh, it's all yellow, that's uh, another big penny, that's Georgia 5th, get off me, I mean all flies in here, let's see what the date is on that, we'll get that up. 1921, 1921 Georgia 5th, and the other ones, See who he is. Come on, he won't come off. Which way is he? 
God, I don't want to come off, does it? Give it a, a lick. Come on. Yeah, it's so cruddy, I can't see how it is. Probably looks like it's looks like it's George V. Okay, moving on. Alright, well I just had that sixpence and the other coin out of. Went back over it again. You can just see the mark there, look, where it was sitting. It looks like we've got possibly a half crown. George is six by the look of it. I think that's a half a crown. Yeah, it's definitely half a crown. Ooh. All right, let's give that a rub on the old trousers and see what we've got. And get a date off it. It's pretty crusty. I think I can see the date there. Oh, I've lost it. Where's it gone? Right, hang on. Right on that edge of the air. If it is a silver one or not. Hang on, I'll get back to you in a moment when we've got a date off. 48, so it's just outside the silver. Boo hoo! Anyway, still a nice coin, isn't it? George VI, half crown. Woo hoo! Put that in the bag. Look, we found a spendable pound coin. Woo hoo! God, I can buy myself a drink now. <laughs> right, moving on. Another coin, as you can see there. I've just clipped it with a spade. Oh, no, that looks like a half penny. Yeah, it's a ship half penny. I think we get a date off it. Looks like George is sick. Is it? I'll get back to you in a moment. That George is sixth, 1943 ship half penny. Right, on the coin. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, it's not, it's a button. Oh, it's a big one. Very big flat button. Yeah, it's got part of a loop on it. There's nothing on it, I don't think, no. That's a huge, great flat button. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well, we'll check that one out when we get home. See what it's made of. Right, moving on. I just did it with a shovel. Yeah, it is another big penny. Yeah, I'll bid it. Oh, bugger. Yeah, twice by the look of it. Who is it? I can't quite see who it is. Give it a quick rub. Oh, it's George VI. And what's the date on it? 1937. Alright, moving on. Another coin in the hole. Look, that looks like another half penny. Yeah, it's George VI again. Do you see the mark in the old? Is it a ship? Yeah, a ship half penny. Let's see if we can get a date off of it. 1950. Ooh, probably from when this was a national service camp then. Oh well, that's a nice condition. Right, on to the next. A shame. I ain't got half a Royal Artillery Pat Badge. And it's still got the loops on the back. Look, I wonder where the rest of that went. Well, we'll check the hole, see if we can find it, but it was right in the middle of the clod there. Laying just in there. Right, right moving on. Look, right, you've got another coin down there somewhere. Yeah, there is. It looks like a threepenny bit. I think it is. Yep, threepenny bit. Who is it? George the Sixth. I don't know if we get a date off of that. Oh, 19... Looks like 1942. George VI, 1942, threepenny bit. Just check the old, make sure nothing else in there. That, that looks like that was it. Okay, we're still in that hole. That wasn't it. Just found that. I don't know what the devil that is. A big thread on it. I mean, heavy. I think it's got a. I don't know, looks like a sump plug or something like that out of something. Got a. Oh, well, we'll clean it up, see if it's got any writing on it at all. Alright, we'd better check this and make sure there's nothing else in here. Throw up any bit and the sump plug. Alright, moving on. Be the last hole. I can hardly talk, I'm so parched. I don't know if you can just see that mark down there. Probably not. That, uh, 
that's a keyhole cover brass one oh, okay this may be the last one I think I'm just about had enough I'm screaming hot out here and I'm parched right I might patch you up now on the, uh, the roundup later on right good evening youtubers this is the uh, roundup for today's hunt at the army camp and uh, nice old horseshoe still got some nail holes actually still got a nail in it some old bits of iron I've got an idea that's find me finger that's probably heel plate off of a, a boot what that is anybody only got any ideas what that is it's got Quantock on it and then written on the top there it says Pierce the O there before opening and there's a Zoobs for what does it say throat and chests and then uh, Kiwi boot polish black satin polish it says I've had a look online I cannot find a black satin one and everything else but anyway there's a bit of copper, I ain't got a clue what that is. Probably has something to do with the generators or searchlights. That's a uh, matchbox tractor shovel. It's a Hatra tractor shovel and it's king size number three from the 60s. So I'll put a picture online uh, of what it looks like uh, when it's all in one bit. Uh, there's another strange thing there. I think that's an old wax capacitor it's actually got a wire going in that in there and a wire going in that in there I'll take it over to my mate he's got a capacitance meter over there we'll give it a test see what it is all right let's go over to the coins we had the uh, first one there Georgia 6 1937 see I clouded that with a shovel Georgia 5th 1920 penny Georgia 6 1932 Georgia 5th 1921 in half peas that's Georgia 6th 1943 uh, that one's Georgia 6th 1950 and I've got an odd one there that's an Irish half D from 1943 if I can get close onto that you might be able to see if it'll focus will it focus come on focus doesn't want to focus come on focus It's actually got a pig and piglets on it. Right, and we had a piece of lead. And there's a piece of a wing nut. That's a terminal end. The Yale key. That's an old flat button. Big thick one and all, look at that. Been broken off, the eyelet's busted. Oops. Then we had a 1945 Sixpence, that's 50% silver, 1937 threepenny bit, 1942 threepenny bit, they're both Georgia 6th, uh, Georgia 6, 1942, half P, and uh, that's 1948, half crown. Bummer, I just missed out on the silver on that one, and that looks like a piece of someone's web belt, still with a bit of webbing in it. And I found that piece of copper with an iron nail in it, and it's still got the leather strap on the back of it. I don't know what that is. And a pound coin from 1983. Keyhole cover. And then, I'm not sure what that is. I wondered if it was the bottom off a grenade. But I can't find anything that looks like that. I don't think it'd be a sump plug because uh, it's made of alley. Everybody knows what that is. Answer on a postcard. And... Uh, the badges. I thought when I first saw this one, you know, that's my finger, that it was only half a badge. And when I got home and I looked at it, I thought, well, that's weird. The cannon's facing the opposite way to that one. This one's facing left, that one's facing right. Turns out this is a complete badge. It's a shoulder sleeve badge for a Sergeant NCO from the Royal Artillery. This one. Royal Artillery again, but this is one I found last week. Look at the difference in size. Now is that still a cat badge that size? 
Or is it a shoulder badge? Or is that a cold cat badge and that one a shoulder badge? I don't know. Anybody got any ideas? Um, basically, I think that was it. But, uh, we had quite a good day. Mark had, um, I think, some uh, coins. But uh, I didn't get a chance to film anything he had. Uh, he disappeared before I got a chance to do it. But uh, if anybody's got any idea what that is, I'd be really interested to know. I've tried to search it online, but I can't find anything on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Those that haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and be nice for some comments. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for now and uh, happy hunting and good luck to all you out there digging holes tomorrow. Bye for now.